Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creations channel. In this short um, video I wanted to demonstrate the active element um, tool. So as you can see I've, I've using my Audi um, R8 mesh and I've distorted the door um, these two two lines of mesh. So first off in the in the element up here, so it's normally in bounding box boundary box. Um, go down to active element and set it on active element. Okay. Now the two lines that we want to correct are these. So press Alt and highlight it. And then the active element is the one where the cursor. Is. So at the moment the active element is there. And we don't want to we don't want to shrink it from there. We want to shrink it from the bottom here. So so if we select that one at the bottom okay so that is now the active element at the bottom and now you can scale on the Z axis so press S and Z and then just scale it up up and up and up to there and we'll do the same for the other other line so again make sure that the active element is where you want to scale from because essentially the mesh down here is is about right certainly there so we don't want to don't want to mess it up too much so again press s and z and scale it up and just drop it in there okay so then if we click out of there have a quick look at the mesh and the mesh looks perfect okay now you can do this from any axis so if we go to the roof view okay tap into the roof line go into edit mode okay we can I mean I'm not gonna I can do this actually so if I do so set that as the active element so we know we're all right in the center okay so click there click the active element, make, make that the active element and then scale in the X axis and you can see what happens to it okay so scale, you can scale it out or whatever and it scales incrementally so um, so it's a good tool to, to, to use for, for modelling and you don't have to highlight the old line, you could just scale that that vertice to that vertice if you wanted so if you just clicked into that make that the active element then scale in the x-axis as you can see that scales it towards towards the active element where the active element doesn't move okay so just a short video hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something from it any questions please um, message me in the comments thank you